Breaking news. Police have now closed the missing persons case surrounding the then 17-year-old Mary Murphy as the teen went missing a year ago after visiting her boyfriend. The case has been a mystery that has shaken the local town. There are no suspects to the crime, but it has been made public that Murphy's relationship with her father was poor. We reached out to Mr. Murphy and he left no comment. Today would have been Mary's 18th birthday. Happy birthday. You know what I really want for my birthday? What? Oh, nothing. It's fine. How was boxing? No, come on, tell me. I just want to get away from things. Just you and me. What are you talking about? My dad, my life, everything. You mean just disappear? Don't you just want to get away from your father's shadow and start your own life? Where is this coming from? What do you think this is? You think I could just leave my sister? She practically raised me after my father left. Chris, please. I know I'm asking a lot from you, but I just want to be safe again with you. You don't understand. We have everything to worry about. Where will we eat, sleep, live? What happens when we run out of money? None of that's been guaranteed my entire life. You're everything that I need. I love you. I really do. But I just don't think you're thinking this through. We'll just talk about this later. Mary? Dear Chris, I'm sorry for not saying this in person, but I knew you would not let me go. I have to get away from this, even if that means having to lose you. It was wrong for me to ask you to give up your life like that, but I guess I thought it would be worth it. I hope we can get some more time one day. I love you. Time. Gonna throw all that stuff away. Who the fuck are you? Name's Jonah. If you don't mind, I'd like to talk about the stuff in that box. What do you know about the stuff in this box? It belonged to your father. What the hell do you know about him? I have the answer to that and everything else you're looking for. So what, this is the part you pull out your glass ball and tell me about my future? This is the part where I talk to you about time travel. What? So what do you remember about your father? Not much. He was always working on this junk. Come on, you have to have some good memory of him. Yeah, it's funny. You know, a man can be so obsessed with time, but never have any time for his son. I'm sorry. It's okay, man. You know, you can't miss what you never had. What are you trying to go back for? In time, that is. My girlfriend. Just needed to correct a mistake, that's all. You want to rip a hole in time just for your girlfriend? It's not that simple. We both have broken families and she's helped me through all of it. I can't keep living without her. I blame myself for why she's gone. I could have been with her. I should have been with her. And maybe she wouldn't have gone missing. Okay, okay. When was the last time you saw your dad? I was young. Walked in the room to see if he wanted to play. 
He told me to get out. Then he was talking to someone so familiar, but I couldn't even tell who. Next thing I know, he was gone. That's rough, man. Yeah. I think this might be it. That's a watch. Something's missing. Shocking. It's hollow. There has to be another part. Well, this is the only box he left, so what are we supposed to do? I think I know a guy that can give us a hand. Well, let's go then. All right, but when we get there, let me do all the talking. He's really not that friendly. What do you want? We're looking for a part for this device. I never thought you were gonna get this to me. It took me a while, but I got my hands on it. I got the part, but I have a few questions. Why time travel? We're uh, trying to save someone. I don't remember asking you. I told you to let me do the talking. You had a question. I answered it. Problem? <laughs> Actually, I do think I have something to ask you. What's that? What makes you so special? Why do you get to change the timeline for your own benefit? You're saving someone? Eddie. Luckily, I owe your boy over here a couple of favors, so you get your part. But I'm telling you this right now. You're messing with something that doesn't like to be messed with. If you screw things up, there will be consequences. We won't. Yeah, I sure hope so. He doesn't like you. I know. Twenty twenty two log. I'm closing in on the target. I've changed into a younger model to blend into the target's surroundings. I've watched him for weeks. He has help. I'm waiting to return home. I hate the past. Humans are selfish, much like the target. He will not destroy the timeline we've kept safe for so long. Sending transmission to 2084. It's done. We have four time jumps. I suggest using one of them as a practice. And coming back to the present doesn't count as a jump. If you use all four jumps though, you'll be stuck in a permanent time loop. Why only four? It's the best that I can manage with the tech that we have. We only need one. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. See you around. Good luck. Who the hell is that? Timekeeper. Well, so much for a test run. <laughs> Give it to me! Damn. Who was that? He's a timekeeper. He's from some agency in the future that gets rid of illegal time travelers. This is some Terminator shit. We have to get him off our tail, and I already used two jumps. Well, why didn't you just send us one year back so we could find her? And that'll be the end of it. I panicked, alright? What good would that do for us anyway? He's tracking us through time. He would just find us the second we got there. Well, then what do we do? We have to destroy his device. How do we find him then? We don't. We just let him come to us. He's tracking us anyway. Okay. I still don't understand why you're helping me. When we are done here, I'll explain everything. Deal. You box, right? Yeah, a little. Well, that'd be pretty helpful right about now.
Go inside, Christopher. Dad? I guess I might as well explain everything now. I was developing this device, trying to make a breakthrough. I was able to look through time and I saw your suffering. I went into the future, but my device got damaged. I made myself look young to keep you from being confused. I found Eddie and he had to repair it for me. I ran into the timekeeper a couple times. I had to figure things out before I could, you know, come back. The device you found was a prototype. I needed to find it and get it back to Eddie in order to get back home. But when I saw you and the way you were living, I needed the help. Eddie used parts from the broken device to make this prototype work, and now we're here. So why don't you just tell me who you were from the beginning? I had a feeling you wouldn't be so happy to see me. We still have two jumps. We can fix this, right? We have one left. I used one to reverse your wound. Well, what happens if we use that last jump? I'll be caught in a time loop. I, I could send you anywhere, but I'll keep falling through time. This cannot be happening. I have to send you back. You need to find her before she goes. You deserve a second chance. Wait, Dad! There's no other way. I've seen this through. I have to send you now. Just hold on. Wait a minute. There's no time. Be careful when you get there. He'll be waiting for you. Dad, no! Please wait! I never got to see you grow. Trespassing in this timeline. Do you have any idea what you have done to me? You'll never be safe. Your crimes get worse as each moment in time passes. They'll come for you. Do it. Kill me. I'm not gonna do that. You don't deserve the easy way out. Have fun explaining this one to your boss. No! I'll take that. Nice of you to show up. I wish I could have helped more, but this was all predetermined. By who? Your father. Did he know he was gonna die? Your father looked through a million different futures, and this was the only one where you and your girlfriend could live happily ever after. Why did you help him? I was hired. By who? I'm looking right at him. What? When? A long time from now, you sent me to help him. How do you think I know so much about that? Give it to me. I gotta bring it back to the future, just so I can keep the timekeepers away from you. Thank you. No problem, boss. You better get in there, because she's about to walk through the door. I'm sorry for not saying this in person, but I knew you would not let me go. I have to get away from this, even if that means having to lose you. It was wrong for me to ask you to give up your life like that, but I guess I thought I would be worth it. I hope we can get some more time one day.
Are you coming? Yeah. 